Hello everyone. My name is Mayank Vats. I'm a professor in the computer science department at IIT Jodhpur. I'm also the project director of uh, Technology and Innovation Hub, which is on computer vision AR VR under the national mission of uh, cyber physical systems. Today we are here to uh, talk about our research and innovation on uh, attacks on biometric systems, particularly uh, physical and digital attacks on face recognition systems. So with the advancements in technology, particularly deep learning research, face recognition is omnipresent. The high performance of algorithms and convenience of capturing uh, these face images, uh, now these, this technology can be used for remote or unsupervised capture of images at the same time for a controlled experiments as well. It can be used in online banking, it can be used for uh, Aadhaar based applications and several other applications related to surveillance. However, with this increase and convenience, it has also actually triggered the fraudulent uh, usage of face recognition systems. The systems can be attacked, the systems can be uh, compromised and the vulnerability of face recognition system can cause a major challenge. In fact, uh, international projects including IRPA's Odin project has highlighted this problem at a larger scale. So, in international community has identified this particular problem, particularly when we talk about ISO. Uh, they have classified this particular problem like a vulnerability of face recognition systems or broadly under biometrics, uh, vulnerability of biometric systems under presentation attack. The presentation attack is defined as attack on the system in any way that can affect the decision of a biometric systems. For instance, if I can actually become Rithik Roshan or Shah Rukh Khan uh, and access uh, certain uh, uh, places which is only meant for, for them, not for me. These attacks can be broadly classified into two categories, digital attacks and physical attacks. As you would see, that the physical attacks can be uh, utilizing the methods such as as simple as a printed mask, a printed photograph of a person which you can wear at your uh, face. A complicated attack like silicon mask attack which you can relate from Mission Impossible movies where Tom Cruise has always actually in all, in all the movie series has always removed a silicon mask. If you recall Chachi Charso Bees where the silicon mask has been used to deceive the identity of the person. Now just imagine such silicon mask being used for uh, bank robbery or another uh, illicit uh, utilization and then fooling the face recognition systems that may be being, uh, used. At a, at a country level scale. The digital attacks um, are classified, are based on morphing based attacks, swapping based attacks. Uh, if, you, if you recall the tools called swapped that was very popular when uh, someone actually morphed the face of uh, Sachin Dandulkar with himself uh, and Lata Mangeshkar uh, with himself. And then these kinds of morphing attacks or swapping attacks are very popular for entertainment purposes. While it was for, for entertainment purposes or it was for uh, certain app, uh, requirements for which actually they, these, was, these were used. So these digital or physical attacks can be uh, um, uh, performed for multiple reasons. Uh, for instance, for purely for entertainment purposes. However, uh, many of these times these, these attacks can be intentional for avoiding recognition, impersonation of someone else's identity or multiple people sharing an, an, an identity. So, so this actually can cause uh, problems to, to the recognition system uh, and, and, and uh, being fooled for uh, the actual task for which the systems were designed for. These, these uh, attacks, particularly the digital attacks, uh, they are actually performed when the images are captured or with the intent to fool the system. Now these, these, these can result in different outputs which face recognition system uh, can, can be compromised. With the availability of several uh, uh, tools including the image modification tools, uh, it has become remarkably easy to uh, attack these systems. A 20,000 rupees or 30,000 rupees low cost mask can, can change the identity of a person. A freely available application can uh, attack uh, the images digitally or alter the images digitally. Some of these are adversarial attacks and alterations such as morphing, uh, retouching or tampering can primarily focus on creating the deep fakes. The defects, while originally intended for uh, entertainment applications, are now being used for creating deep points. Now, if I talk about defects, these are highly high-quality synthetic images 
or, or videos that can be generated using the deep learning technology, particularly the uh, concept called as generative adversarial networks or GANs. These techniques have grown in popularity and include the face swapping, face morphing or facial retouching uh, applications in which the identity of a person can be completely swapped with another person's face images and create a video for which the person did not even know that the, such a video has been created. Now just imagine the kind of uh, uh, illicit applications this defect can actually cause and the mental trauma it can cause to women and, and children. With the significant increase of the social media platforms, millions of images and videos are right now being shared on a daily basis. Imagine that the social media platform can be used for sharing these uh, altered uh, content uh, without the knowledge of actual users. The information can be uh, created to, to falsify the, uh, the information and create fake news also. This actually encourages uh, the, the uh, individuals who are indulged in generating and pushing fake content in online, uh, on online social media for malicious gain. In order to mitigate, provide a mechanism, we have created a tool to detect if the image or a video is, is deep fake or uh, attacked or not. It can detect both physical attack as well as digital attack. And in this demo, you would actually see that the robustness of this particular tool towards both physical attack and digital attack is remarkable. So we need to develop an algorithm for attack detection and we have to cover both physical attacks which will include uh, uh, physical attacks as well as digital attacks and the physical presentation and attacks uh, should include uh, regular face masks such as these and also silicon masks such as uh, these. Also we have to cover uh, deep fake detection uh, in which we uh, can have multiple kinds of deep fakes. For example, we can have face swaps in which the identity will be changed and we can also have other kinds of deep fakes. So we need, basically what we need is a combined algorithm which can handle both attacks. A lot of algorithms exist which handle these attacks separately, but uh, the main motivation for our work would be that uh, we want to handle them together. We can see that this sample will become even more hard if uh, we obfuscate the eye region. For example, if he wears his specs, we will, it will become even harder. So we need to make sure that uh, our model is able to uh, detect such samples also. Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm a PhD student at Image Analysis and Biometrics Lab here at IIT Jodhpur. We have prepared a demo for digital and physical attacks and here it goes. So I have my f identity of a friend here, uh, here in my lab. This is how he looks. I made him wear a silicon mask of Barack Obama. Let me show you that. So here I have Barack Obama waving to the uh, nation. But if I want to detect whether this uh, video is real or fake, uh, with apparent eyes we cannot, but we have developed a tool through which we can. Now, if I uh, browse this video uh, through, my, through the software that we have developed, it is a very simple click, uh, click and select waste tool where we can run on the video. And since you can see that here on the selected video of Barack Obama, I mean impersonated Barack Obama, the prediction by our uh, tool is fake. But at the same time, when I select for a real video, which I showed you earlier, here it is we can get a prediction as the prediction is real. So for next example, uh, I made him wear a mask of Amitabh Bachchan. This is the video. And now if I run my tool again, all I have to do is to select the video, go to the relevant path. And uh, now here you can see that from the tool, we get the prediction as fake again. So for given real uh, video, our model is able to identify whether the identity is real or not and at the same time for the impersonated videos we are able to identify whether the given video is fake or not. So we are able to cover uh, the silicon mask based attacks as well as the uh, paper mask attacks. Now moving on to the other modality, we have defix. Now this is another video of Aishwarya Rai. What we, what we did here is we digitally modified the video and we uh, swapped the face of my friend over the Ashwara Rai's face. Now let me show you how it looks. Navigating to the video. So here we have the face of uh, my friend over Ashwara Rai's face 
and uh, as you can see it looks indiscriminable you cannot uh, with with your bare naked eyes you cannot identify whether this image this video was a real video or it was an uh, artificially modified video so now we test our model on this video again we navigate to the correct directory we select the video and we run the model and here we can see that this video is classified as fake to conclude uh, i would like to actually highlight that this is a very important problem statement which needs a national atten att attention and our group has been focusing on this particular problem statement for quite a some time and we hope that the technology developed in the image analysis and biometrics lab will be useful for different law enforcement agencies thank you very much